بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم After concluding the discussion of river, its and its pathology, we have started with the gall bladder. Almost one liter of wine is treated by the liver per day. The cream means wine is stored in the gall bladder where it is concentrated. The adult gall bladder has a capacity of about 50 milliliter to store the wine. More than 95% of the biliary tract disease is attributable to polylithiasis that the gall spawns. Congenital anomalies of the gall bladder may be gall bladder absence or duplication with conjoined or independent cystic drops, bilobe gall bladder, partial or complete embedding in the liver substance, pterygium cap, folded fundus is the most common anomaly. A genesis of all or any portion of the hepatic or common binder and Hyperplastic narrowing of biliary channels that is called true biliary atresia and polydocal, polydocal cysts. This is the phrygian cap. You can find a cap above a stone formation in the carburetor. Polythiasis, that is the gallstone. Take 10%, 10 to 20% of adult population in developed countries. More than 80% are silent. And there are two types of gallstones cholesterol stones containing more than 50% of crystalline cholesterol monoidate, and pigment stones composed predominantly of bilirubin calcium salts. Risk factors for skull stones, for cholesterol stones, they are mainly prevalent in the demographic areas like Northern Europeans, North and South America, Native Americans, Mexican Americans, advancing age, female sex hormones, female gender, oral contraceptives, Pregnancy, obesity and metabolic syndrome, rapid weight reduction, gallstone spaces, inborn disorders of bile acid metabolism, hyperlipidemia syndrome, and for pigment stones, demographically, Asians more than Westerns, rural more than urban and chronic hemolytic syndromes, biliary infection, gastrointestinal tract disorder, ileum disease, for example Crohn disease, ileum resection or bypass, cystic fibrosis with pancreatic insufficiency. Pathogenesis of a gallstone of cholesterol type Four conditions attribute to formation of cholesterol stones. Supersaturation of bile with cholesterol, hypermotility of the gallbladder, accelerated cholesterol crystal nucleation, hypersecretion of mucus in the gallbladder. Pathogenesis of the pigment stones, disorders that are associated with elevated levels of unconjugated bilirubin in bile such as chronic hemolytic anemia, severe ileal dysfunction or bypass and bacterial contamination of the biliary tree, 
infection of the biliary tract with E. coli, scarish lymphoiditis, or the liver flu, chlorarchis sinensis. These are the cholesterol stones. You can find the multifaceted stones lying, filling the gallbladder of variable sizes and dark brown color. Then pigment stones, brown and black. Black pigment stones are found in sterile gallbladder, while brown stones are found in infected dark white dots. And black stones contain unconjugated bilirubin and calcium and phosphates and glycoproteins and some monoid calcium and monoid crystals. Brown stones contain similar products along with some cholesterol and calcium salt pigment permitted. Clinical features of gallstones they may be excruciating biliary colic usually following the fatty meal. Pain is localized to right upper quadrant of epigastrium that may radiate it to the right shoulder or the back. Gallstone ileus are buried syndrome. A large stone may erode directly into an adjacent to of small bowel generating its standard obstruction. Complications include empyme, perforation, fistulas, inflammation of the biliary tree, cholangitis, obstructive cholestasis, pancreatitis. Now that we come to the infections or inflammations of the gallbladder that may be acute and chronic and acute superimposed, superimposed on chronic it almost always occurs in association with gallstones acute cholecystitis acute capillus cholecystitis is precipitated in 90% of cases by obstruction of the neck or the cystic duct by your stone, a calculus cholecystitis may occur in severely ill patients and accounts for about 10% of patients with cholecystitis. In acute cholecystitis, the gallbladder is usually enlarged and tense, and it may assume a bright red or violaceous to green black discoloration imparted by subserosal hemorrhages. The serosal covering is frequently covered by a fibrinous acidate that may be fibrinoprudent in severe cases. Pathogenesis of acute calculus cholecystitis results from chemical limitation, uh, chemical irritation and inflammation of gallbladder obstructed by stones. The action of mucosal lipases, hydrolysis, luminal lecithins to toxic lysolecithins. The normally protective glycoprotein mucus layer is disrupted, exposing the mucosal epithelium to the direct detergent action of pipe source. Prostaglandins contribute to mucosal and neural inflammation, distension, and increased intraluminal pressure comprise blood flow to the compromised blood flow to the mucosa. Acute acalculus cholecystitis without stone involvement is thought to result from ischemia. Risk Factors for acute acalculus cholecystitis include 1. Sepsis with hypertension and mud system organ failure, immunosuppression, major trauma and burns, diabetes mellitus, and infections. Morphology of 
in calculus consistitis an obstructing stone is usually present in the neck of the gallbladder or the cystic gut the gallbladder lumen may contain one or more stones and is filled with a cloudy or turbid bile that may contain large amounts of fibrin pus and emery when the exudate is virtually pure pure pus the condition is referred to as gallbladder embolism this is very important definition sometimes you you are you may be asked about uh, that and you might have, uh, have to write a note on that gangrene the morphology of the gangrene is called cystitis it might be seen the gallbladder wall is thickened edematous and acrimin and both in more severe cases it is transformed into green black necrotic organ acute emphysematous polycystitis the invasion of gas forming organisms notably clostridia and coliform result in this condition clinical features of acute calculus polycystitis may contribute constitute an acute surgical emergency or may present with mild symptoms that resolve without medical intervention there is progressive right upper quadrant or epigastric pain that is associated with mild fever anorexia tachycardia sweating nausea and vomiting mild to moderate leukocytosis clinical symptoms of acute acalculus cholecystitis tend to be more insidious then chronic cholecystitis may be sequelae to repeated bouts of mild to more severe acute cholecystitis or it may develop in the apparent absence of antecedent attacks polydithiasis in more than 90% of cases for phology the serology is usually smooth uh, sorry the serosa is usually smooth and thin but may be dulled by subserosal fibrosis dense fibrous adhesions may remain as sequelae of pre existing acute inflammation or sectioning the wall is variably thickened and has an opaque gray white appearance in the uncomplicated case the lumen contains green yellow mucoid bile and usually stones the mucosa itself is generally preserved in chronic cystitis in the mildest cases only scattered lymphocytes plasma cells and macrophages are found in the mucosa and in the subserosal fibrous tissue in more advanced cases there smart sub epithelial and subserosal fibrosis accompanied by mononuclear cell infiltration out poaching of the mucosal epithelium the, through the ball rocket rocket and screen the shop sinuses are prominent then in chronic cystitis we may see porcelain gallbladder extensive dystrophic calcification within the gallbladder wall or xanthu xantho granulomatous cystitis the gallbladder has a massively thickened wall and is shrunken nodular and chronic inflamed with foci of necrosis and hemorrhage or high drops of the gallbladder and atrophic chronically obstructed often dilated gallbladder may contain only clear secretion a condition known as high drops of gallbladder this is chronic cystitis you can find the dense infiltration in the mucosa with the of the uh, chronic inflammatory cells comprising lymphocytes plasma cells and macrophages and there is there is uh, subserosal vessels are thrombosed 
Now come to the carcinoma of the gallbladder. Carcinoma of the gallbladder is the most common malignancy of the extrahepatic biliary tract. Risk factors include chronic bacterial or parasitic infections, chronic inflammation, molecular alterations that might be actionable targets of the therapy. One example is the oncoprotein ERBB2 uh, that is R2 new. Carcinoma of the gallbladder, grossly it may be infiltrating or exophytic type. The infiltrating pattern is common, contains poorly defined area, diffuse mural thickening and induration, deep ulceration, scarce inconsistency, has firm consistency like stone like. The exophytic pattern of the Carcinoma of the gallbladder grows into the lumen as an irregular cauliflower type mass, but at the same time invades the underlying wall. Most carcinomas of the gallbladder are adenocarcinomas. Some of the carcinomas are papillary in architecture. These may be well to moderately differentiated infiltrative and poorly differentiated to under to undifferentiated. About 5% are squamous cell carcinomas of the or have adenosquamous differentiation. This is the exophytic type of the carcinoma of the gallbladder. The loma is filled with the um, carcinoma of the cauliflower type. This is the microscopic appearance of the carcinoma of the gallbladder and it has got the uh, pattern of adenocarcinoma. Thank you very much.